Okay, Trisha Halfer is here, the wonderful number six from Battlestar Galactica, uh, a series which I personally adore. So um, please tell us, what is your most favorite moment at Battlestar Galactica as a set, from behind the scenes? Gosh, it's really hard to describe uh, my favorite moment from Battlestar from behind the scenes, because there were so many of them. Um, I don't know, you film for five years and it's... There's a lot that goes on behind the scenes. I think really, the, I can't pick out one specific thing. Um, so I, I think I would just have to say the camaraderie and the, uh, the environment that we all worked in. Uh, we, we became a family. And um, so that was, that was a lot of fun. Um, you know, because sometimes there'd be scenes that were really funny or something silly would happen, or then there'd be scenes where you'd be freezing cold and... You know, one of the times I'm out in the white dress and we're out on this planet, but it's winter time and I'm actually standing in snow in bare feet in a white dress with no, no jacket on, and um, so those weren't so much so so fun. But I, I think the camaraderie. Is there any special? I think you are still been, been been friends over the years, or be, became friends over the years. So um. Uh, I, I used to have some some kind of people who um, met each other very often and uh, go out together, going out for some 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 eating some. Still now. Yeah. Uh, yeah, definitely. It, like I said, that the we became a family on the set. We're all still extremely close. So, uh, Michael Truco, who played Sam Anders, he lives five minutes away from me, and and we're very close friends. Katie Sackoff, who played Starbuck is one of my best friends. Um, I just saw her on Saturday. We had too much to drink. Um, <laughs> and, uh, you know, Jamie Bamber lives five minutes away from me. And so even if we sometimes don't see each other all the time, it's, uh, it's like picking up from square one when we see each other. We're all still extremely close and, and can rely on each other if we need to. We can call each other up and say, hey, I need your help with something or whatever. And, Uh, it's a, they'll be lifelong friends. So how has your life changed after you started working for Battlestar Galactica in this show? Well, um, I had only been acting for about a year when I booked Battlestar Galactica. It was my first series. I used to model and, and uh, I quit modeling and started acting and, and I was lucky enough to get Battlestar Galactica. So my life changed a lot because not only did I work for five years on Battlestar but also on a show that was uh, critically acclaimed and, and so it, it helped me um, get my foot in the business so to speak and, and um, you know and, and, and I've worked consistently since and, and not only do I have a great friend base with, with all uh, the Battlestar crew but also I've you know I've been working for 12, 13 years now and, and uh, uh, it was a, a wonderful career so I'm very thankful to Battlestar for that. And one last question, when you see the show now on TV, after a few years, what did you think when you see yourself as number six on screen? You know, I guess when I see the show now, um, I think I'm just reminded how, how well it holds up. And I think that's why, even though the show's been off the air for a few years now, eight, six years or something like that, the new generations are finding it. And, and people that were too young before, they're when their parents watched it, now they're watching it, or Netflix aired the whole series, or BBC aired the whole series, and, and I think in, in Germany, uh, a station is about to air the whole series, and, and so there's, there's a, a new generation, a new group of fans that are finding the show, and, and I'm just amazed by how it holds up. It doesn't really have a timestamp. It still looks really good, and it's still socially relevant, um, so it's still finding that fan base. Mm -hmm.